Oklahoma State, 86, North Arizona, 86, make all the difference here, one place, displace one person.
Samuel, now your leader, 19 year old from Eritrea, ran 27.20 on the track at Hedlo in the summer, 17th in the World Cross in Australia. What a talent. When they're still so well packed together, does it help to have these guys to run with?
I'm on a community bus. It's a good one. Let's go, Gary! which is the number track from Oklahoma State University. Congratulations to our men's and women's Elite 90 recipients. The junior from BYU, Kenneth Rooks. Thirty-four, the sophomore from Syracuse, Sam Lawler. Eight, the senior from the Air Force, Luke Combs. Twenty-seven. 22nd, the sophomore from East Tennessee State, Jason Fowers. 21st, the junior. Way to go, Luke! 13th, the junior from Arkansas, Karami Yago. 12th, the junior from Oklahoma State, Victor Shitsama. And 11th, the senior from Texas, Devin Hart. Seemingly we missed this young man with escape for Art Masodi. Ninth, the junior from North Carolina, Marco Wolf. Hey. Eighth, the freshman from Oklahoma State, Brian Massau. Seventh, the junior from Arkansas. Oh, sorry, I should say Arkansas, shouldn't I? Heaven forbid. Patrick Kiprop. Sixth place, the junior from Northern Arizona, Nico Young. Fifth, the senior from Northern Arizona, Drew Bosley. And in fourth place, the freshman from Oklahoma State, Dennis Kipnagic. In this 2023 NCAA Division I Men's Cross Country Championship, third place, the junior from Stanford and Australia, Kai Robinson. The 2023 National Runner-Up, the freshman from New Mexico and Eritrea, Hapton Samuel. And your 2023 NCAA Division I Cross Country Champion, winning time 28.37.7. The junior from Harvard, Graham Blanks.
cross country team national champions. 4, 8, 10, 12, and 15. 49 points, their average time 29, 12, 04. What a performance! Oklahoma State! OSU! today uh, you finish in about a 504 per mile on a very hilly challenging course tell me about the course today uh, course was rough um, some hills uh, it was challenging but a lot of guys did really well so you're coming off the big 12 where you hit 440 mile average uh, and so you know also at Nuttycomb you hit about a 501 average so kind of depends on the course depends on the day uh, tell me about the season overall though some reflections about it um, the season's good. We've been working hard as a team, and I feel like that really showed today. Um, nobody had an outstanding day, um, but we had some guys that did well. And that's great. Um, coach says we don't need to hit any grand slams. We aren't swinging for the fence. We're just getting on base. And there were five guys today that got on base and got it done for the team. That's great. Well, a little bit warm today too. Uh, tell me about the heat. Normally cross country this time of year, it's like freezing cold, rain, sloppy. Today it was like ideal conditions, but even a little bit on the warm side, how did that affect things? Um, I don't know, it made it quick. Um, I feel like the weather allowed for guys to run fast. Yeah. Okay, well, uh, freshmen, two freshmen this year, uh, had a standout performance. Also, BYU third place overall, yeah. which is exciting. What does it mean to you to be part of a team? You know uh, that uh, you know as you were looking at different universities, you're like big fish, small pond, small fish, big pond. What does it mean to be you know small fish, fish big pond? Um, yeah, for sure. I uh, I was definitely thinking about that when I was uh, choosing a university. Um, and um, I feel like if you're a big fish in a small pond, it's a smaller program, but you're a standout runner there. Um, and when, when I was thinking about it, I put a lot of thought in. I decided I wanted to be a little fish in a big pond, an amazing program where I was nothing special. Um, and that's BYU. We have so many amazing guys, and they really pushed me to work hard. Okay, well, that's got to be some of your success, especially this freshman year. Just running with those guys, hurting on workouts together, you know, paying the price and seeing the guys around you do that as well. So good job this season. Excellent freshman year. Some, uh, you know, just some standout performances this year. Thank you. All right, we, I know. we didn't what get a photo. Right there. What year is that from? That's you mean Creed? Uh, I don't know. It's like 1986. Creed and Joey. 1986. Come on. That is Joey's inspirational creation. right there. Yeah, $15 on custom flags. Yeah. Oh, wow. Uh, <laughs> all right, BYU couples, tell me uh, what it's like running uh, so uh, together at the same meet today. It was fun to support each uh, other. It's fun. It's fun being with Creed. We are just like happy to be together. Yeah. We always try to run together. Well, I'm standing so. on the wrong side though. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Me and Carly raced together actually the whole entire race. Yes. We were together. Each other the entire so time. we got through it together. Yeah. It was good. All right. Good Joey did okay. <laughs> Joey back. Photo. Are they leaving? Oh, sorry. Let's go down. Okay. <laughs> 